Hello and welcome to this, the second of our three services, considering what Christian unity means today. This service will be focusing on unity between denominations, thinking about how Christians work and worship together despite all our differences. I am yet again accompanied by my kanga and the words say, to faulty to wake a mungu atupe upendo, which means our differences we must put to one side and may God give us love. And so we'll be focusing on those words as we join people who have joined me in the last few years, working and worshipping together as we serve God and serve God's people. And so those are the voices you will hear, people who I have worked and worshipped with and received so much from over the past few years of my life. So let us pray together. May the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you always. And, and also with you. With you. Brothers and sisters in Christ, this year, the theme of the week of prayer for Christian unity, chosen by the sisters of the community of Grandchamp in Switzerland is, abide in my love and you shall bear much fruit. It is the great desire of God expressed by Jesus that we might come to him and abide in him. He awaits for us tirelessly, hoping that united to him in love, we will bear fruit that will bring life to all. Faced with the difference of the other, we risk withdrawing into ourselves and seeing only that which separates us. But, li but let us listen to how Christ calls us to abide in his love and so bear much fruit. In this time of prayer which follows, we remember the call of Christ. We turn to his love, to him who is the centre of our life. For the path of, our, of unity begins in our intimate relationship with God. Abiding in his love strengthens the desire to seek unity and reconciliation with others. God opens us up to those who are different from us. This is an important fruit, a gift of healing for the divisions within us, between us and in the world. Let us, in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, you are the vine dresser who cares for us with love. You call upon us to see the beauty of each branch united to the vine the beauty of each person. And yet too often the difference in others makes us afraid. We withdraw into ourselves. Our trust in you is forsaken. Enmity develops between us. Come and direct our hearts toward you once again. Grant us to live from your forgiveness so that we may be together and praise your name. Psalm 95. O oh, come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us heartily rejoice in the rock of our salvation. Let us come into his presence with thanksgiving and be glad in him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. Come, come let us let worship, us worship bow down. down. In his hand are the depths of the earth and the heights of the mountains are his also. The sea is his. For he made it, and his hands have moulded the dry land. Come, let us worship, let us worship and, bow, and down, bow down, and kneel before, before the Lord, Lord our Maker. For he is our God, we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Come, Come let, us, let worship us worship and bow, and bow down. down. 1 Corinthians chapter 1 verses 10 to 13. I appeal to you, brothers and sisters, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, that all of you agree with one another in what you say, and that there be no divisions among you, but that you be perfectly united in mind and thought. My brothers and sisters, some from Chloe's household, have informed me that there are quarrels among you. What I mean is this. One of you says, I follow Paul. Another, I follow Apollos. Another, I follow Cephas. Still another, I follow Christ. Is Christ divided? Was Paul crucified for you? Were you baptised in the name of Paul? So I invite us all to share something of the joys of worshipping with Christians 
and working with them, Christians with, from other churches. Amy, would you like to start? Okay. Well, the thing I find best about working with and worshipping with other churches is that it calls us out of our safe bubbles. It calls us out of the walls and our denominations in which we are comfortable and reminds us that we are all one in Christ. I think it's good as well because you get kind of to know other people and sometimes glean ideas from them, I suppose, really. When I was setting up Messy Church, someone from one of the other churches in the area gave me a book because they had previously done Messy Church. And then every time we met, we used to talk about how it was going. Um, I also think it's good because sometimes sort of the outside community might see you as separate. So when there's things where you come together and you're working as one, because the media kind of portrays divisions, don't they? Um, yeah, to be seen to be working together and for the same purpose, I think is really strong. Yeah, what I loved about working with the homeless shelters in Gillingham and Bromley, the debt centre in Bromley, and with Love Twiddle is being able to see that actually we each bring something different, something different of God's love, something different of God's peace, and something different of the joy of being together with Christ and experienced in so many different ways. And I have to say, I have been both challenged as well as greatly blessed by being with people from other denominations in my own journey and yeah in my practice of faith it's also really nice just to sing some different hymns and do <laughs> some different prayers yeah especially if you're from kind of um i guess a noisy congregation or a very quiet one it's kind of nice to see the other side of that definitely and we know that where two or more people are god is there too and it doesn't matter how you express that or whether you stand up and sit down in the right places it's all about being there and being a community and being part of the body of christ i think that's really valuable to see as well because i guess some people maybe have grown up in their church and maybe haven't been able to visit other places or experience other worship so when you see people from other churches working together and seeing how they do things even if it is different and might seem a bit strange at first it's it's a good experience to have because otherwise you might think that everyone does it the same way you do if you've grown up with it where do I start so um yeah I think I I got involved with the night shelter some 12 years ago now and um, I would say that was the beginning of time which brought me into contact with many other local churches of all different tradition and style and it's just been an absolute joy I feel like I suppose before uh, I feel like probably I was in a bit of a silo in my church which is um, an AOG Assemblies of God Church so that we're I'm, I'm kind of been in that tradition for about 20 years um, having had a Catholic background actually. But um, the joy of just being with other Christians in other churches, it's just wonderful. You, it, it breaks down walls. It feels like in, in the, the shelter where I kind of first got involved, it is really feeling like you're doing church without walls, which is, is amazing. Um, and it's great, you're, you're meeting other church leaders, you're, you're making, and you're not just kind of going to, I mean, I have in the past been to prayer meetings where you can go and that's great in, in churches together, but you don't necessarily, it doesn't necessarily give space for um, creating friendships and relationships. And I think that's when I, when I was working with the shelter, that's what that enabled for me. But moving on from that as well, that kind of paved the way. We There was a number of different churches went to a cat breakfast and uh, we were being encouraged to open a debt centre. And everyone was thinking, yeah, this is a really good idea, but how do we go about it? It was all, it all seemed too big for one church. 
and it was interesting because I, I do believe it was the relationships that we'd made um, between those different churches with the shelter that we then sat around a table and we said let none of us can do this on our own but actually we could probably do it together and it took us a little while we kind of did go around in circles for a bit but it was amazing how God just brought in the different people to make it happen and there was a bit of a faith journey there um, but once we prayed together um, we really prayed together because we had we didn't really all have the, the enough finance for what we needed to do and um, it was just wonderful how we saw God move in that situation and there was um, you know there was churches uh, Anglican churches Catholic churches uh, Assemblies of God there was other independent churches um, I, I don't remember all of the the names and the labels but actually I've come to realize that doesn't really matter because the wonderful thing is I I I in my head, I think God must look down and just think, this is what he wants his church to be. Just like, actually, we're brothers and sisters in Christ. And it doesn't matter which little local church we're in. And by the way, I love little local church. I think it's the best thing because we need to be local. We need to be on people's doorsteps. We need to be there for people and, and to be able to invite people into our local church. And, and that's the lovely thing. We can still all do our lovely uh, local expressions. We can be who we are, we're who our expression is through our church. And um, yet coming together, we can achieve so much more. And it's that achieving what we do is just wonderful. And I, I get quite passionate about it and I will waffle on a bit. So I'll, <laughs> but uh, the other thing um, which has been really big for us, which um, me and my husband, um, we, we got involved, we, we went to um, a, an Anglican church locally, was hosting um, uh, an event on modern day slavery. And it was immense. Uh, we went, we, our eyes were opened. Um, Rob, my husband, he got involved with actually being one of the, the trainers um, for modern day slavery. And it, again, it's another wonderful opportunity of how churches can work together. We went to that event that another church had put on, but it's not about, uh, what can I say? It's not about um, being precious about our own church, I suppose. We love our church where we're planted and that's wonderful. We have all those friendships and relationships, but equally you look outside your church and, and I, for me, I, I repeat, it, it I kind of came out of that silo and it was just wonderful to be in unity with brothers and sisters in Christ just across the borough. So for me, um, I don't know if that helps any of you just to um, get a little glimpse of what, what my world has, has shaped up like, but it's phenomenal and God has just opened doors after doors after doors. And I've, I've been in my local church for 20 plus years now. Um, as I say, love, love being planted there, um, but absolutely wonderful experience to be working across the borough now. We have um, something called Transform Bromley Borough, which is a group of churches came together. They've been praying for a number of years and through the work with the shelter and with CAT and, and so on, um, been able to work with Transform Bromley, which is, is yeah, it's a group of churches any church in the borough can be part of it. Again, all the different um, denominations, traditions, and it's incredible what we're able to do together because we're now we're engaging with the council, uh, the council supporting us to put in grant applications. So we just, I, I could go on and on, but it's phenomenal what doors it's opened really for God's church in, in our community. And I, I think that that is ultimately what it's about. It's for our relationship with with our Lord but it's about our relationship with others and it's about um, introducing Jesus to others as well and I just think marvellous opportunity so I uh, hope some of that makes sense because I, I know I have a tendency to waffle on but hope you can get something out of that God bless you and thank you well thank you to everyone who has offered their joys and shared with us their experiences of working, working and worshipping with Christians from other churches. So now let us pray for ourselves 
and for the whole of God's church. Holy Spirit, you create and recreate the church in all places. Come and whisper in our hearts the prayer which Jesus addressed to his father on the eve of his passion, that they may all be one, so that the world may believe. Kyrie eleison. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, Prince of Peace, light the fire of your love in us so that suspicions, contempt and misunderstanding cease in the church. May the walls that separate us fall. Kiri eleison. Lord, have, Lord mercy. have mercy. Holy Spirit, consoler of all, open our hearts to forgiveness and reconciliation and bring us back from our wanderings. Kiri eleison. Lord, Lord, have mercy. mercy. Lord Jesus, gentle and humble of heart, give us poverty of spirit so that we may welcome the unexpectedness of your grace. Curie eleison. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. Holy Spirit, you never abandon the men, women and children who are persecuted for their fidelity to the gospel. Give them strength and courage and support those who help them. Kyrie eleison. Lord, have, have mercy. mercy. With the words that Jesus taught us, let us now pray together. Our Father, Father in heaven, hallowed be, be your name. name. Your, your kingdom, kingdom come. come. Your Lord will be done. Be on earth, earth as in heaven. In heaven. Give us today our, our daily bread. bread. Forgive, Forgive us our sins. sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Spirituality and solidarity are insepar inseparably linked. Prayer and action belong together. When we abide in Christ, we receive the spirit of courage and wisdom to act against all injustice and oppression. We say together. Pray and work, and work that, God that God may reign. Throughout your day, let the word of God breathe life into you and rest. Maintain the silence in all things so as to dwell in Christ. Be filled with the spirit, spirit of the Beatitudes. Joy, simplicity, simplicity mercy. mercy. So we receive God's blessing. Be one so that the world may believe. Abide in his love. Go into the world and bear the fruits of this love. May the God, may the of, God hope of hope fill us with all joy, joy and, and all peace in faith. So that we may abound in hope by the power of the Holy Spirit, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.